Greetings. I am Reginald T. Penny Triscuit, president of the Uptake Explorers Club, coming to you from our headquarters in Chicago, Illinois, United States of America. Welcome to our first ever presidential video report, where we check in with our global chapters from around, well, the globe. From sea to shining sea, our distinguished members have planted the uptake flag proudly for the last five years. Let us hear from those around the globe to see how their expeditions are going, or have gone, and what their plans for their next exploration might be. You know, I've explored almost all areas of uptake in my, uh, in my four year career here. Um, everything from the, the depths of field service management to the, to the highs of product management and, uh, and everything in between with a few stops in the, in the sales department as well. So, you know, the, the, the next thing that we're going to do is really capitalize off of the great work that's been done throughout the process of Sprint Zero and really just try to simplify the organization. We want to really focus on what we know we're good at. We want to be able to get out to the clients who we've already built models for and we've already kind of identified the, the right assets in the right places and then just go try to sell what we have. And the whole point is going to be to identify product market fit and just be 110% sure that we're doing the right things for the people that we're, that we're targeting. So the first expedition at Uptake did not go as planned. I was hired to oversee universal experiences, uh, and by the time I had started, that was no longer a thing we were doing. So I learned that we need to think about how things will come back around. So the API and developer portal, uh, something that we haven't touched in a while, and it will be back in vogue as soon as we start talking about insights as a service. We can do so much more than people understand. It can look great, feel great. We can get applications out in front of customers super fast, faster than we've ever done before. And we need more people with hands-on keys making that happen. Uh, customer service, site operations, training, DevOps, QA, service desk, um, and then I was in Dubai as Global Operations for a year. Uh, a couple years ago we were having to complete the Symphony work for Caterpillar. It's one of the things I love about Uptake. There was um, 100 people driving towards the same goal and we were able to hand it off on time. And I am currently running the fleet product at Uptake. Uh, we are um, creating a product that is scalable across, for many customers across an entire industry. If we all are marching towards one goal, Uptake can do anything. Not many major product releases go exactly as planned, especially when you're working under such tight timelines. So when something comes up like a last minute challenge, it's just about finding a quick creative solution that still puts your customers over the moon, but doesn't cause too much trouble later on. So the biggest thing I've learned from my expeditions here at Uptake is that we need to ensure any new customer engagement is set up for success. That means that before committing to specific dates, we need to make sure we're creating detailed execution plans with required resources so we don't start projects already behind schedule and understaffed. Everyone should know that we're building some really cool applications for MEC Utility. One specifically is an inventory logistics application that allows us to recommend new orders or new parts to our customers so they can make sure they have the right parts available at the right time. Um, I have been in engineering and customer success. So I started on a project to redo rail ingestion that um, became Symphony. And then we got about a year into that and decided the architecture wasn't working. So we ripped it all up and tried again. And then I think we ripped it all up again and tried again. And then we actually delivered it. We've got a bunch of big deliverables this week, and we're, so we're really releasing these for the first time to customers, and then where we go next is we start to build on them. I know a little 
bit about learning, a little bit about culture, a little bit about the nuts and bolts of HR, uh, employee relations, recruiting, compensation and benefits, and my favorite, conscious leadership. I've been involved in all things people since I got here at Uptake, and we hired a lot of people, thinking that we would have all the work and all of the opportunities for all of those people, all the best intentions, all the best plans in place to do that, and it didn't play out that way. And so we are smaller now than we used to be, and that's part of our journey. Everyone should know that uh, I am deeply committed to continuing to create and build on the excellent culture that Uptake has had from the very beginning. Uh, regardless of size, regardless of what our strategic priorities are, this can still be an exceptional place to work full of exceptional people, uh, and that's what I'm exploring now. I'd like to ask you, what's the TAM of bringing the ASL into the APM to drive ROI for OEMs in the form of OEE? Over the years, we've worked hard to define what it is we do in a succinct way. Uh, it sure can be challenging, and sometimes we find ourselves with a bunch of UBAs, unproductive business acronyms. Uh, what we do isn't well defined in the market, and describing it can be really challenging to do uh, in a way that you understand and differentiates us. So if you don't know what we're saying, it's time to jump ship. Moving forward, we wanna make sure that we describe ourselves in a way uh, that is clear and understandable no matter who you are so that we can focus on your challenges as a customer uh, outside of uptake and not what it is the heck we're talking about. I have explored, I think, most of Uptake. Um, I started out exploring Corp Dev, and then I spent a little bit of time in the product organization, uh, product strategy, rest in peace, that's gone now. Um, back to Corp Dev, then on a quick little detour through finance, then it was business operations, short stint in marketing, back to business operations, which changed to enterprise analytics, and now I'm exploring the executive office as Brad's chief of staff. The idea for the expedition was, can we connect all of our own enterprise data to our uptake platform and use uptake's platform to generate insights um, to help us operate more efficiently? And then it was time to discuss migrating that effort and start using our own platform to do that. And we made the decision at the time to not go that route, to hold off. While we didn't make it all the way to the top of the mountain, um, we had some small wins along the way, just organizing our data and connecting it and visualizing it. I think of our journey at Uptake as a really epic journey. And there's gonna be a lot more mountains for us to climb going forward. Uh, the most important thing is that failure won't kill us. Failure isn't fatal. And so focus on the courage for us to just keep climbing and keep moving forward. I've been in many different areas of uptake. Uh, way back when Rail, MLAD, Failure Engine, before it was like kind of formally Failure Engine, Cat with CAA, Dealer, Assessments. Fleet, Dow for a little bit, uh, and within the assessments like the grid stuff, federal, manufacturing. So I've seen a lot of different things. Like the CAT CAA one is, is the one that is probably the largest product I was part of that didn't go quite as planned, right? We built several analytics there, you know, MLAD was, was kind of a version of that, which was great to, to start that up, and now it's, you know, something that we're offering outside of that area, uh, but ultimately we just decided to go a different way. For that engagement, there's a larger population of machines that we are trying to get to, and so we have to have good solutions for how do we scale to all these machines and not just a small subset of them. So rail, wind, grid, solar, fleet, manufacturing, federal, dealer, like those are all great areas of expansion for us. And so what I'm most excited about is, is like using the base we have today and taking that to as wide a population of machines as we possibly can. I've 
worked on a couple of projects that didn't necessarily go quite as planned. Um, we tried an uptake mentor program once. And then, oh, also product passport. It was about three and a half weeks ago. Didn't really make any headlines. I think what I've learned in my time here at Uptake is that the best thing that I can do for all of you is really clearly define the value of the programs that come out of the people team in terms of employee engagement. So a couple of things that are coming up uh, next on deck. Most importantly is I think that we are all on the verge of something major here and I'm gonna focus on the fun. We are about to have some real fun. So keep your eyes peeled, keep your ears open, because some great stuff is gonna be coming down the line. That will conclude this installment of the Uptake Explorers Club Presidential Video Report. As we head into the second half of 2019, I'd like to wish you good luck and success on your next expedition. And thank you for being a member of this, the greatest club on earth.